Hello everyone, my name is Lata Verma and welcome back to my channel Techie Brains. This is Sonal Cube series part number 6. And till now in this series you have seen what is Sonal Cube, how Sonar Lint is related to Sonar Cube, what is the version matrix, how to download and install Sonar Cube. And now today in this video you are going to see that how to set environment for Sonar Cube. We need to take care of version matrix while installing Sonar Cube. Here is the version matrix. So make sure that according to the JDK version that you have in your machine, you have installed the appropriate version of Sonar Cube. So I have installed Sonar Cube version 9.9. .9. So that means I must have JDK 17 installed in my machine. So already JDK 17 is there in my system. You can see in C drive, if I go to program files, here we have uh, here we have Java and then you can see JDK 17 is installed over here. I have JDK 8, JDK 11 and JDK 17 all three versions but this is the version which I'm going to use for Sonar Cube 9.9. .9. So how I will be making sure that this is the version which is currently active in my machine so obviously I need to go to the bin folder and I need to set this path. So I'm copying this path and then I'm going to environment variable. And over here I need to set that path. Now here I'm getting two sections, user variable and system variables. The difference between user variable and system variables is what? All the variables which you are setting over here in user variables will be applicable only for the current user with which you have logged in into this machine. That means only to Lata Verma user. But if you are setting some variables in system variables section, so that will be applicable to all the registered user of this machine. Does not matter with which user you have logged in right now in this machine. Okay, so what we need to do, there is already a variable with name path. So uh, some values are already set here. So what I can do, I can simply go to this path and then I can click on edit. These all paths are already set right now okay and this is right now jdk 1.8 which is set so i can simply delete it okay right now i want jdk 17 to be active so that's why i deleted the path for jdk 1.8 and here i can click on new and i can paste the path of jdk 17 till bin folder we have to copy the path and we have to paste it and make sure that it is at first position okay so this is going to be the active version of jdk for my machine now so sonar cube ninth version i have already installed and for that according to the version matrix jdk 17 is required and the environment is also set for jdk 17 so this is all which we need to set in the environment before starting start sonar.batch file and after setting the path you can simply go to sonar cube file You can simply go to the Sonar Cube folder. Okay, ninth version I want. And then you can go to bin. Windows is my operating system now. I can click on it. And then I can click on start sonar.batch file. Now the compatible JDK version is installed and the environment is also set for it. So that's why if I'll be running this batch file, I should not face any kind of challenges. So let me just run this batch file. So now you can see guys Sonar Cube server has got started. It takes few seconds to start Sonar Cube server. So you can look at this uh, like your scheduler pro 
IMPL process is up and if I scroll it down so you can see that Sonar Cube server is up and running properly and this has happened because the compatible version of Sonar Cube was installed and the complete environment was also set. So guys, sometime it happens that even after setting the environment and installing the appropriate version of Sonar Cube according to the JDK version, your start sonar file does not run properly and you cannot run sonar cube server. So don't get panic in that situation. Simply uh, restart your system and then check it once again because the required things are already set. The installation of appropriate version of sonar cube according to the JDK and the environment is also set for JDK version. Okay, so these are the two important things which are supposed to be there before starting your start sonar file. Okay, and once this sonar cube server is up and running successfully, you can simply go to your browser and over there you can simply hit localhost 9000. And here you can see guys at 9000 port, the Sonar Cube server is up and running properly. 9000 is the default port for Sonar Cube. And once you start Sonar Cube server at localhost 9000, you will be getting the Sonar Cube login window. By default, you have to add admin in the username and admin in the password as well. Now you can see guys, you have successfully logged in onto Sonar Cube server. Okay, and uh, now we can start analyzing our projects onto this Sonar Cube server. Okay, so guys, this is all about this video. So guys, this is all about this video. And here in this video, you have seen how to set the environment for Sonar Cube before starting start sonar.batch file. And what happens when we run that batch file after setting the environment? And after uh, running the sonar cube server how we can access sonar cube server so the port number is 9000 and sonar cube server will be available on local host so guys in the next video you will see that what are the things to remember even before analyzing projects on sonar cube server your sonar cube server is up and running properly and uh, you will have your uh, projects to analyze onto this server but before that what are the points to remember what are the things to remember that is something which we are going to see in the next video so guys thank you so much and see you in the next video